I that love is that. Cool. Good morning, everyone. Well, first up this morning in less than six weeks, the longest Over here, running. Chicken. There we are. Hello. Professional. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> the longest running professional soccer franchise in the U.S. will kick off a new season, and there are a lot of exciting changes happening. For sure. We're, of course, talking about six-time MISL champions, your Milwaukee Wave. Yeah. Sue Black is now the owner and CEO. Woo, woo. She's woo in charge. She's a boss. <laughs> and she is here today with our favorite Wave player and friend of the morning, Blenny. Ian Bennett. Uh, yeah. Look, uh, I brought out my Ian bobblehead for you. Yes. This is what I've had to do. Because we've been wanting, well, we can talk about that because we're going to put you on the spot. We've been wanting an Ian Bennett bobblehead. And so Tiff had mm -hmm. to create one and put your, your oh, get the whole body. trading card there. Yeah. That's so funny. Got to get the body. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Do you love it? It there, sits on her see? desk. It's the thought that counts, yeah. It looks, it looks well, I, have, good. I have two announcements to make, but the first one I'll say uh -huh. is that um, we have our new schedule out. Our season opener is going to be December 7th, but on January 11th, because it was the last time we were here that you yeah. had said, I want a bobblehead. So we um, found a sponsor, and um, uh, PCI Construction is going to make Ian Bennett the um, <gasps> bobblehead on January 11th. No yeah! <laughs> Because of this guy yeah. right here that's been on my desk? It, it is really where it started because when you guys serious. kept saying that and you put that, that <laughs> card on top of that, I'm like, seriously? <laughs> But anyways, for PCI to do that, I think that's great that they're going to sponsor him because he's one of their favorite players. You so need a bobblehead, buddy. All day, all day, I mean, all day, how many people have a bobblehead? That's what I'm saying. Know. It's Honestly, it's so yeah. nice. Like yeah. It's humbling and it's, it's just... I'm so Don't thankful. you really feel, though, like in your career as an elite athlete, that the greatest <laughs> thing that could happen to you and you know you've reached success is when you have a, a, bobble a bobblehead? I agree 100%. Yeah. I think yeah. it's really cool. This and is excited. huge. Can we know what he said? It. He said he was going to well up. He I just don't know if I'm going to be able to play up. that day because oh. that's going to be like so sweet. But yeah. January Don't be month. lining up to yeah. get yeah. that. Your kids I are going to bring it to school for yeah. show and tell. Oh, they're going to go nuts. <laughs> yeah. They're going to go nuts. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> right? That Excellent. is so awesome. That's super, super exciting. Your first full year yeah. right. as owner and CEO. Yeah. How's it going? I mean, how, you don't have any it's crazy. experience in managing a, a professional athletic team, right? Well, I, I would say, yeah, in, uh, in sports management. But management is what I've done my whole career and learning how to form a team. You know, some of my favorite was the team I built in Arizona or back at the Wisconsin State Parks or what have you. So when I look at the business aspect of it, it's, it's, it's second nature to me. That, mm -hmm. that part is easy. But what's really fun is to be, being around the team and being around the players and then having Coach Tozer I mean, he's the best coach in the country and what he does for the USA team and the rest of it. So um, I'm nervous about the season because I, I'm kind of, I like to control things, you know. Of course. So, <laughs> so the office is good. We remodeled a new logo, a new website, iNet. I want to thank iNet for, for helping us with the, it's a fantastic website. Um, but then all of a sudden when these guys go on the field, I kind of have to let go and just trust that they're going to do their yeah. best and bring a championship back to Milwaukee. That's that's the goal. That's yeah. exciting. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Well, what's yet, up right? with the new look? I mean, you mentioned there's a yeah. new logo, but what else is new? Well, almost everything. When I when I looked at the team, I was kind of like, okay, are we going to, am I going to watch it for a full year and then kind of put my stamp oh, on it? Oh, that's a new logo? Or just go, yeah. That there's cool. Let's take another look at it because I like that. What, what do you like about well, it? Well, in soccer, there's a crest, so you always have the crest so we need to go that one's the formal one and everything everybody knows how much I love Milwaukee um, so to put the skyline on there and, and we're taking pictures of all the players around town at all the iconic places so we're gonna have the calendar we're gonna have really cool pictures of these guys you should see some of the ones of Ian we haven't we're not gonna release them quite yet but um, they're cool. He's so, I, I got my clothes on. I, I got my clothes on. So that's, darn good. It. that's good. Oh, yeah. That one's coming later. That one's coming later. That was just I thought a soccer you knew ball. How to market, just a soccer too. ball. Just a soccer <laughs> ball. That's, that's me and a soccer coming. ball. That's just what we're going to do. Ball. That's just me and a soccer ball right there. Just one? Stop it. Stop just one. And then, anyway, I, and then, and then, and then I'm going to no hands. And no hands. The soccer ball is going to hand Do you see how fun it is being around these guys? I don't think I'm actually ever going to work uh, again because it's just such positive, fun energy. That's it awesome. Really is. It that's really awesome. That's awesome. What's your what's your camarader camaraderie like with the players? Do you have a lot of contact with them because your your yeah. job is probably very much administrative? Yeah, yeah I, I think it's real interesting. And I said this to coach, and not to be too transparent, but I said I think I have. Um, 
a good relationship with the players because he's their coach. But when coach comes into the front office, the front office staff all loves him because he's not their boy. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. So it's good cop, bad cop with them. But I'd like it this way because these guys are just amazing. Then they're from all over the world. I think that's what people yeah. don't know. Yeah. It's a South game. Africa, you know, Greenfield, and then Brazil. Um, Spain, Uruguay, Holland. We just signed a new player from Mexico. I mean, it's really the internationalism of these guys. I don't think the story has been told quite enough. And that's why I want to make the team um, about them this next season so mm -hmm. the community really gets to know these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially this little character right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> we like him too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are He's you excited great. to show fans this year? Like, what, what part of the game, beside the game itself, like, what are you excited for fans to see this year, Ian? Just a whole new, different look, different vibe different energy that we're going to bring and like hopefully get a lot of people in the stands and I honestly I think we will I think this year is going to be a, a new look and a, and a new change and you're going to see it I think it's going to we're going to put a wave on the map this mm -hmm. year I think. and in new new uniforms too right. oh talk my, about they that look so good oh I put one on oh like my muscles everything is looking oh popping out look see you can see there oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I see a lot of muscles hey, we're looking good that's fantastic good. I think those are yeah. I think oh yeah. Yeah. Beach. We're, we're gonna, bread. I think I'm gonna do a contest or something about a new mascot, <laughs> a new mascot. First. so I, I think I'm gonna ask people what, what do you think about that and maybe I always think he just him. needs new eyebrows I think he something. needs a lot of she's things, so, she loves know? mascots so she's right. the person to ask yeah. right here Molly, yeah, I'll help you Molly is that. your mascot fanatic right. she mm -hmm. knows everything about every mascot well we're gonna have the uh, mascot celebrity game towards the end of the season maybe you guys should come out yeah oh, we're there would you come play That's, oh for sure is that Done. something that everybody can Done. come to yeah absolutely absolutely we had it last year and we had record crowds we had you know eight eight thousand some people there so it was will great will Ian be there yeah, of course All you right. will. Of course you will. Then course we'll do will. it. Um, <laughs> I think it's fantastic. What about the season ahead as you look yep. toward being competitive and you look toward, you know, winning with your team? <laughs> yeah. I love it. See, Can you win? That's the nerve-wracking part, you know? <laughs> you said it. Yeah, I was well, just repeating you. But that's exciting. That's what makes you get up in the morning. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. it, it's just such a new adventure, and it's just such a blessing to be able to take this team to where I think – we, I mean, we've won six world championships, That's you know, huge. so to bring it back, but to really, like I said, to really um, showcase who these guys are, and especially in the communities, because so many of them live here, um, like, they're just athletes that give back, and I, I really want to tell that story as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I love, I, I mean, I love the, the wave in general for what you stand mm -hmm. for, like you mentioned just now about everything right. you do in the community and such, right. but in terms of the game, for someone like myself, I don't know a lot about soccer as a mm -hmm. game. If someone hasn't come out to a wave game this year, what would you tell them about, like, in terms of what to look for, uh, what to know about the game, for somebody who's just kind right. of being introduced to soccer? How do you? How I do think you, it's going to be a party. That's yeah. what I want to say. It's going to be a really good time, and the energy Great with for these kids. guys. Well, the music and the the it's just so fast paced. It's very different than the outdoor game. When, I mean, and it's just that my first game when I went, I was like, holy moly, this is a good time. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of action. It's, mm -hmm. it's fast paced, celebrations, everything. It's just it's amazing. It's you just got to come. That's all I tell everyone. You just got to come. And you'll have fun. It's very, mm -hmm. it's very fast paced and high energy, and that's what I love about it. When you hit it off your head, that's what everyone says. No, no. But soon, though, wait, wait, soon I got in class. He, he and I were, were <laughs> tossing it back and forth. How many times did we do? Like seven. We did like seven. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Off your head? Yeah. Yeah. Off your foot too. And right afterwards, I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Spike it like exactly. a volleyball at you. So All right, we're gonna give um, Ticken website information just yeah. a bit, but sometimes we like to play our chat pack with guests. We love to make people uncomfortable. Let's let Sue. Pick oh, one. You get to, since right you love on, control, yeah. you get to control oh, the question. Oh. Am I reading it? Yeah. Oh, or Ian almost can. everyone can recall a missed photo opportunity because he or she did not have a camera. What moments of all above all do you wish you could have caught on film? Oh. Do you have one? Oh, oh boy. That's a missed opportunity on film. I want um, to say it on TV. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I will just tell joking. you this. We, it was the end of the season last year, and I turned around. And remember, we were in the playoffs, and it was the mini game, and we were just about to win the game. This is a bad story. Yeah. Was Anyways, insane. but I turned around to a friend and I said, seven seconds. We had seven seconds to end up to going in the finals. And um, remember all of a sudden that shot came around the side? Yeah. I think, uh, maybe I don't want a picture of that one. Never mind. But it was very high energy. That that was one of, because I'll never forget doing those seven seconds. Uh -huh. um, and did the shot go in? We don't, we don't need to go. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm you got one. Need to go there. No, I don't think I. No, I think I like in real time. I don't. Yeah. Nah. My favorite chat pack question so far is if you could be any farm animal, which you still one like would that it be? One? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Why you have one? I don't know. I would be a chicken. What would you be? Because I I like that they can lay eggs. I think that's so cool want to lay eggs. Lay you want to just go more. around and lay eggs? Yeah. Under just, and I think right. chickens are so colorful. All right. Yeah. No, I'd rather be the farm dog. You want to be yeah. a farm dog? Yeah. I just run just around, chase. rally everyone. All right. My you friends know. and I do Start the wild. Everything? Yeah, I become best Sniff. friends with the horse. All right. That's My cool. friends and I do the wild <laughs> animal. If you could be any wild animal, yeah. what would you want to be? And that's kind of a fun one because all of us kind of have our. What would you pick? I don't either. The eagle, maybe. Yeah. A friend of oh, mine's the lion. Oh, yeah. So a friend of mine's a lion, and then every time she like is in a different mood, she sends me this Arr! a little thing. You know, <laughs> it's kind of funny. You know, she sends. I'd only want to be a lion, it. like like you know um, Simba in. Yeah, that's oh, lion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I like that. On Broadway. Exactly. All right. Exactly. We're gonna Here's give you the information. information. Mm -hmm. Here it is for the wave. Call for tickets four one four two two four wave. They're on Facebook, Twitter, or MilwaukeeWave.com is but the can website. Can I make my second announcement real quick? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys, you're going to hear it here first. It, we're just announcing it this morning, but for our first game, we've, we've signed Daughtry. No, -uh. Swear to God. Love swear it. God. Woo! Yeah. Was it a concert after it's the game? It's a concert after the game. So for us to get Daughtry for that first game, it's going to be December 7th. So right now, because I think we're going to, don't jinx it, but sell it out. I'm hoping. I think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.